I'm really sorry, everyone, that for the video again, also I had to pick it up very really first for that reason. Now we can start the class without any interruption. I'm really sorry for that, everyone. Okay, one more thing. Uh, like right now, I'm having a little bit cold, so my voice will not be that much energetic. So please pardon me for that as well. Like it's uh, like uh, the weather shift in India. It's October and it's like weather shift is very common right now. So that's why I got a little bit cold since yesterday. So, I, so that's it. Sure. So now let's talk about the electric current. This is one of the most fundamental quantities that we are going to discuss for the electricity chapter because. The thing that we are going to discuss in the electricity is all about the current and potential difference, right? These are the two quantities that we are going to discuss. All the basic quantities, all the other quantities like power, like sorry, power, energy, all these quantities are basically involved with the potential and the current. Am I clear to all of you? Yes. Yeah. Am I audible to all of you? Yeah. Okay. 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 It's uh, uh, it's I am asking one more time, but uh, like only Maha has switched on the video so far. In the last class, I've already uh, conveyed this thing to all of you that please do switch on the video without any reminder. But still, so that is not a good thing. So you are in the class, please and please switch on the video so that we can interact. Okay, so okay. Now let's discuss it. So what is electric current? So in simple word, electric current is the flow of electric charge. Simple. In simple words, what you will say, what is electric current? Electric current is the flow of electric charges, right, due to potential between the two points. Because electric current flows through between two points. Now, if you no talked about like if you talk about normally, like in general case, so it means that the uh, the charge starts from flowing from a point A to point B, right? So, so that is the basic thing of the electric current. Now let's discuss a little bit more in detail. So basically, if you talk about the electric current definition in with respect to time and charge. So electric current is in the normal word would be that the electric charge passing through that conductor in unit time. It means that how, what is the like uh, suppose that I'm saying that 10 charge, 10 coulomb of charge is passing through that conductor in one second. Right. So it, that means that 10 ampere of current will be produced in that wire. It means that 10 ampere of current is flowing through that wire. Clear all of you? Yes. Right. So that is the thing. So these are the very general uh, things about that. Okay. Now let let me write the things over here. <coughs> Aja, I've told you one thing in the last class that what is the reason behind uh, for the flow of current in the conductor? How many of you remember this thing? I've told you about that. What is the reason why that current flows from one point B, uh, from A point A to point B? Which quantity is responsible for that? Anyone? No one. Potential difference. It I've told you, you know, potential difference is like the tank. One tank is at higher level, another tank is at lower level. So water will flow from higher to lower. Same same thing will happen. The two points are present in a potential difference because we are take, talking about potential difference. It means that two points will be there. So from point one point it will be at higher potential, another point will be at lower potential. So the charge flow from higher to lower. Clear? That's what we have done in the last question of the potential difference. Okay. Now let me write down the definition. So the magnitude, in, if you talk about the magnitude, okay. conductor the amount
the amount of charge passing through a given taken in one here also so in that case current is represented by i right and is equal to q by t here also and if you talk about the charge like basically the electric current definition in general words in that case that the electric current is the flow of electric charges in a conductor such as metal wire in most of the like conductor means metal Most of the time, if we are deferring the conductor, it means that that is the metal. Am I clear to all of you? I am. Calvin, what happened to yes. you, Bachelor? Can switch on the video. Both of you. Could you please tell me the reason? Sir, I am having a bit of network network issues. Okay, Calvin. What about you, I am? The electric current. So it's I. I is the representation of current in the electricity. I means electric current. This is a uh, you can say sign. Okay. Just like V V is used for the potential difference, so I is used for the electric current. Electric current. the flow of electric charge nothing is there It is metal. Fine. Please do let me know, everyone, if it's clear to you or not. B point. So the electric current is measured by the unit called ampere. Ampere is the SI unit of the electric current. Am I clear to all of you? SI unit. The numerical will be very much easy from these topics like potential difference, Ohm's law, but uh, electric current. But the most of the like the majority of the majority of the numericals that are complex will start coming from combination of resistors, resistivity, and uh, the Joule law of heating and the electric power. These are the main topics you need to revise again and again so that you can tackle the questions coming in the exam from these topics. So these are the major topics. Because questions will straightforward will be straightforward in these topics like potential difference, electric current, Ohm's law. But the question will be twisted from the coming topic that we are going to do in the further. Okay. Uh, the unit of electric current is ampere. Okay. Then, am I clear to all of you? Now, C point. Okay. So now let me define one thing. So basically, sometimes that question comes into the exam that as a two marker question that define elect one ampere of current. What do you mean by one ampere of current in the exam? This is a two marker question, and it's a very common question. Like it could be just just like we have done now, one volt of Volt potential difference. Define one volt, right? 
So similarly, one ampere of current is also defined like this. When, please write down this definition. When one coulomb of charge, right? One coulomb of charge flows through. any cross section of a conductor of a conductor in one second so now if i substitute over here that is one coulomb you can see one coulomb by one Second, that's what I'm writing over here. When a one coulomb of charge is passing through a conductor in one second, so that would be equal to one ampere of current. Now that's how it will be defined. Am I clear to all of you? Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? In one second, the electric current flows. Electric current flowing through it is said to be. One ampere. Am I clear to all of you? So that's how you can define this thing. Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? Is my video like lagging at your end? Could you please tell me anyone? Like is my video yeah, a little. A little. Okay. Your yeah, voice too. It's uh, okay. cracking a little bit. Okay, just a second. Let me use another report. Now is my uh, order back. Or is it fine now? Your voice is still stuck in a little, but okay. it's a little clearer. Maybe they would be like it's uh, the network issue. Maybe I'm not sure about it. Okay, now it's clear to all of you. Please do let me know. Yes. Sure. That. Now let's talk about okay. Now let's talk about the some other properties, right? So that uh, like we have already discussed that poten potential difference is measured by an instrument called voltmeter. So similarly, there is one more instrument called ammeter that is used to measure the current, electric current in a circuit. Okay. Current is measured by an instrument Or am okay. Any doubt so far to anyone? Please do let me know. Yeah. So that is the ammeter. Now next point is so since we have discussed one thing in the uh, potential difference as well that potential difference is connected in parallel combination. Sorry, voltmeter is connected in parallel combination. But ammeter is connected in series combination. We will discuss why why it is connected in series combination. Okay, because once we will do the combination of resistors, you get so what series combination? Uh, we'll do it in the combination of resistors. Maha. Basically, the coming topic is basically or combination of resistors after the Ohm's law and the factors affecting the resistance. Uh, that is one of the most important topic and most confusing topic in the electricity so far, right? So. Okay, so once we'll do that, you will get to know that what is the reason behind that we uh, connect the ammeter in the series and voltmeter in the parallel. Just 
noticing that it is connected in series and voltmeter is connected in parallel. I'll discuss, I'll explain it once we'll do the combination of it. Right? Sure. Next is, so, ammeter. It's connected in. In the so, last point about the ammeter is ammeter should have very low resistance. Voltmeter should have very high resistance, but as compared to voltmeter, ammeter should have very low resistance. This, this thing I also let you know in the combination of resistors because the explanation is basically in that portion. Because if I explain it right here, you won't be able to understand it properly. Or so something is basically uh, you can say they left for the next topic. So that's why we'll, we'll discuss that thing in detail. So ammeter should have very low resistance, almost negligible. Because if I tell you in simple words, if ammeter if ammeter is having very high resistance, so current reading will not be accurate. That is the reason. If there is so more the resistance, more will be the inaccuracy in the reading, and lower the resistance, more so will be the, the more the ammeter allows the current to flow into it, yes. the more accurate. The more will be accurate. Yes, that is it. And because once we'll do the ohms, so we'll find out that current is inversely proportional to the resistance. To increase the resistance, resistance lower will be the current flowing through it. So that's why your readings will be inaccurate if you increase your resistance. So that's why it is. Recommended to keep the resistance as low as possible in the ammeter. And the high resistance should be high in uh, voltmeter because it will give you the, it will not draw, it will not draw the current. It will not draw the current. That's why it is recommended. Okay. Ammeter should have very, these things, I will understand this thing in Ohm's law and the combination of resistors. No need to worry about it. Okay. Should have. Very slow. Well, any doubt so far? One minute, please do let me know. Do you want? Yes, uh, I am. You were saying something? No, sir. I think somebody lifted uh, something. I... Uh, sir, it's a uh, background noise. Ah, yeah, okay. No issue, sir. Bye bye. Anyone else having doubts so far, please do let me know. No doubt so far, anyone? No, sir. Okay, sure that. So I'm asking to, from all of you, like nobody is responding. Is that clear to you or not? But you at least say yes or no. It's clear. Clear? Sure. Yes, sir. It's clear. Yeah. Maha, Jiana, Ayan, Sultana, Aisha, Sultana, and Peta. Pezan, are you there? Azan, are you there? <laughs> sure. Okay. So now these are the basic properties of the electric current. Okay. These are the only thing that is there in this paper that you need to know at least. At most, these are the things. There is nothing left for this topic. Only thing that we are going to be left with is numerical. Right. Let me check if there is anything left. Okay. One more thing. So in the this uh, chapter will be dealing with the two types of units of the current. That is one ampere is the SI unit. Milliampere is a smaller unit of ampere. Just like the milligram, gram, kg, kilogram is the SI unit. But we have, we do have uh, some smaller units like milligram in the weight, in the mass. So similarly, so let me tell you, if this is the key point that one milliampere is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 ampere of current. So in some time, quotient would be in form of milliampere, not in the form of ampere, right? So if you need to somehow calculate it, so you need to uh, like convert it into ampere so that you can use it. Because amp ampere is the SI unit, right? If the amp milliampere is not the SI unit. 
Am I clear to all of you? Yes. Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? Okay, after this class, you will be having the assessment, everyone. Okay. चलो जल्दी से इस चीज को खत्म करते हैं वो करते हैं कि अच्छा बिफोर दैट लेट मी टेल यू वन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द न्यूमेरिकल आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शेयर वन थिंग सो बेसिकली देर आर टू डायरेक्शन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट पोर्शन फर्स्ट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज सेकेंड इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट सो बेसिकली इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज एंड इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट आर ऑपोजिट इन डायरेक्शन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन विद हेल्प ऑफ एन एक्सप्लेन नाउ लेट मी सेकेंड लेट मी टेक एस नेप ऑफ दिस पिक्चर बिकॉज that will take a lot of time to draw it so let me just take a step of it the edge portion direction of quick shine so what's the first word direction direction short form of direction you can use this in only not not in the exam for the teacher will say what is it <laughs> and current okay right so let me tell you one thing. so suppose that everyone this is the so as you can see the okay as you can see this is a wire right i am also pasting one more figure of it so that you can understand this thing properly From these two figures, you can understand what why the direction of electric charge is opposite and why the direction uh, as compared to electric current. Okay, from these two figures, it says because the in the books like uh, the this is a conceptual portion, but sometimes students will find difficulty to understand this topic. Okay, so this is a very basic thing. Now you can see this thing. This is a normal wire. So as you can see this thing in the normal wire, if this is a conductor, obviously, so there would be some free electrons as well. That's why this is called a conductor. I have told you in the start of this chapter, right? So as you can see, there are free electrons. They are basically randomly moving in any of the direction. They are colliding with each other. They are colliding with the walls of the metal wire, right? So that is the there is no like this is a normal wire, right? Suppose that this you assume we can assume this thing as a normal wire. So this is a normal wire. In that there would be random direction of the electron. Clear, everyone? next as you can see next figure is showing that the direction of electrons are aligned in a specific side after connecting it with the cell or a battery after providing a potential difference as you can see this thing everyone you saw no so the battery once you have connected a potential difference to that wire so the electrons are aligned in a very specific manner like there's the attention manner in the school pt in the school assembly you are in the attention manner so everyone is in the attentive manner the attention manner sanity is an attention it's on everyone so that's like once the you know, like uh, cell ordered the electrons that please stand in the, in the attention manner so that's why they are aligned that's like the parade thing as you can see so once the cell is connected with the uh, the wire so the electrons aligned in such a manner they are direct okay so they are aligned in a straight line they are not moving in random direction and they are aligned towards the positive charge the basic property of charge says that positive opposite charge attracts each other as you can see the electrons will get basically uh, experience a repulsive force from the negative charge negative side of this battery because negative will repel negative yes or no everyone in the yes. electric charge i have told you that negative same charges repel each other so as you can see this negative charge will say okay please go in that please go on the right left hand side towards the positive so electron will say okay we are going on the left hand side because they are attracted towards the opposite charge i have told you with the explanation of the electric field topic do you so, remember what will they like move towards the positive or like will they just they stay will in one position yes they will be aligned you can say in normal words yes they will move because flow of current is nothing but the flow of charge 
so they will be flowing to through it uh, towards the pulse okay so, that is called internal circuit internal matter because in it this is happening inside the metal wire because electrons are not visible by the naked eye right so that's yeah. why this is called as an internal thing right so that's why the electrons will move from negative to positive charge this is the flow of electrons they flow from negative to positive am i clear to all of you is that clear yeah. to all of you once it is connected with the battery i'm not saying about the rand like uh, not the like in a general manner once they are connected with the potential difference the electron will move from negative to positive clear everyone so the Now, first is the electric charge first imaged uh, yes these are electrons as well but there is no potential difference applied to it okay okay here you can see that it is connected with the battery or a cell okay so that's it now everyone we can see but the direction as you can see this is the positive side this is the negative side positive side will be at the higher potential yes on everyone potential so in the potential in the potential difference thing positive is taken as the higher potential negative is taken as the lower potential so yeah. as i have to that electric current flows from higher to lower i have told you that electric yeah. current flows from higher to lower so that's why the electric current will be in the direction opposite to electric charge that is the positive to negative that is external circuit right so that's why like direction of electron and direction of current are opposite to each other am i clear to all of you please do let me yes sir. any doubt so far to anyone if you have any doubt just let me know sir the red color uh -huh. arrow that you mark that's the electric uh -huh. charge no no that's the electric current it is going the positive Like this, it is going positive, entering from positive, na positive to coming out from negative portion, and like this, coming from positive to negative. But the electric charge are going from po negative to positive because of the basic property, the attraction property of electric charge. Please do let me know, everyone, if it's clear to you or not. Yes. Well, oh, this is a this looks like yes. a very basic, but most of the students basically. Uh, like uh, get confused in this. That's why I have just explained this thing in the thing. Please do let me know if, if, if there is one, anyone who is having doubt. Galvin, Maha, Jiana, Ayan, Aisha, Fazan. Any doubt? No sir. Sure. No sir. Yes, Jiana, Aisha. No sir. Fazan, are you there? Ayan. Yes, sir. Do you have any doubt? No, sir. Sure, that's it. Okay. Okay. Now you got it. The direction of electrons are opposite to direction of the electric current, right? <laughs> so let me write down the thing. Okay. And here I'm making the first point. Again, direction of electron is negative to positive terminal. It's from negative to positive. Clear, everyone. Second is so. So basically, the most important, the most simplest method to maintain a potential difference is the 
addition of the battery or a cell. If you if you want to create a if you want to basically play uh, you can say generate or place a potential difference between two points, you just have to place a battery in that circuit. The potential difference will be maintained. There are all of you, right? For the yes. continuous flow of current. Okay, so I'm writing it over here. List way in ten a between me. Conductor, so as to get a continuous flow of current, okay, or flow of charge. Basically, the general meaning of the current is not the or like, or like all the time electric current. It means current means that there is flow of something. We also say that current of water. It doesn't mean that there is a current electric current in the water. That means that there is a flow of water. And right? you must have heard this thing very like frequently. The current of water in the at sea shore. Basically, current of water is there. Continuously flow of current, basically flow of water is there on the beach side. So that is also called the current of water. Yeah. Or current of river that is flowing with continuous speed. Terminus of a cell or a band. Okay. So that is the simplest way to maintain a potential difference between the two points. Okay. Next is third point. Okay, I don't think so that there will be an assessment because we have not done the uh, numerical set. So in the next class, we'll be having an assessment of the electric current. Okay, so from I will give you homework, but uh, in the next class there will be an assessment of current. Okay, so the conventional the conventional direction of current that we basically take as generally. Is my uh, like voice cracking still? No, not sir. much. Not much. Shut up. Maybe that was an issue of the electric. Oh, sorry, electric <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> Current is. Negative term. Okay. 
उत्तर सर्किट Yes. Is there anyone who is having doubt in our case? Let me. No, sir. Right. So the flow of electric charge is from negative to positive. And the flow of electric current is from positive to negative. So there is a if you just understand one thing. So if the current is in the positive to negative direction, it means that the flow of electrons would be from negative to positive. I have told you both the reason. Why do electrons flow from negative to positive, and why there is the direct why the direction of electric current is from positive to negative? Is that clear to all of you? Please do let me know. Yes, sir. Okay. So there like this is a conceptual question, so please do not take it very lightly. Because sometimes the question says that explain why the conventional direction of current is from negative to sorry positive to negative. Okay, so uh, let me take okay. Let's do the numerical. Okay, so in the next class we'll study about the the electric circuit. What are the electric circuits? The different uh, you can say you can say the The sign and the logo used, okay, and the how to form a electric circuit and what are the different components of an electric circuit. Okay, so in the next class we'll start the ohms law as well as the electric circuit. So that question is not that much in detail. We start to do it. Okay, so let's choose this question, everyone. So question is saying that an electric bulb draws a current of 0.25 amperes, right, for a 20 minutes or Okay, calculate the amount of charge flowing through the circuit. So simply, current is basically is in point two five ampere. Is uh twenty minutes SI unit of the time? Please let me know, everyone. Twenty minutes is that time given to you? Is that an SI unit? Supposed to be in seconds, I think. Yes, that is the second of the time. Okay, so I have to convert this thing into seconds. That is sixty seconds. That is coming out to twelve hundred seconds. Okay, twelve hundred seconds. As according to formula, that is I is equal to Q by T. I need the charge. I'll just multiply the time with the current. That is equal to I into T. Right. Is equal to, and that is I is point two five into twelve hundred ampere. So that is coming out to be three hundred. But uh, yeah, this is three hundred coulomb of charge flowing through the circuit to generate a current of point two five ampere in twenty seconds. Am I clear to all? Is there anyone who is having doubt till now? Okay, you can have the assessment because assessment is uh, the numericals are not that much stuff. So, got the idea? I can give it. Okay, everyone. After this class, we'll be having assessment. Assessment. Please go and check out the assessment. I'll send the assignment questions as well. But after this class, you have to go and check out the assessment as well. Am I clear to all of you? Yes. And I'll check the uh, basically the. History of your assessment. So if you are not giving it frequently, I'll basically this will be uh, conveyed to your parents as well. Okay, so please take it seriously. Okay, everyone. Sure, that's great. Just a moment. Okay, let me take one.
Let's check it out. Uh, share the information. Okay, let's try this one. So let's do it together. Okay. So as you can see, everyone, the both. So it basically <clears throat> com com consists of both the topics, the electric current and the potential. But that's a very simple thing. Question is saying that if the potential difference of 10 volt, it means that the potential difference of between the two points is 10 volt causes a current of 2 ampere to flow because this is the reason that's why the uh, electric current flows due to potential difference. Okay, it's like it's like a waterfall thing. Okay, for the time of one minute, it means that 60 second, right? Because one minute is not the assigned. 60 second. We have to calculate the work done or the energy required to transfer. So everyone see this thing. For the energy, we need charge because in the formula of V is equal to W by Q, charge is present. Right? We can derive the charge from the electric current formula so that we can find out the energy required. Yes or no, everyone? So according to the question, I is equal to Q by T. Yes or no, everyone? Yes. We can. I is equal to Q by T. So I is basically is equal to 2 ampere is equal to Q is we need to find divided by time is 60 seconds. So as you just multiply it over there, so charge would be equal to 120 coulomb. Yes or no, everyone? Now, according to the flow, uh, the work done and potential difference, the numeric, uh, the formula is V is equal to W by Q. How many of you remember this thing? The last topic. Clear everyone? V is equal to okay, Maha, that's good. Anyone else? Galvin, Gianna, Aisha, Pezan. I don't know that the, like why everybody switched off the videos. That's a very bad thing, everyone. If you're there, if you're there in the class, everyone, please do switch on the video. That's a request. Just like your privacy is not compromised, it's in uh, focus mode right now. Meeting is in focus mode. I can only see your videos, you cannot see the videos of each other. Okay, even though your video is not recording, this is a recorded session, but only my video is getting recorded because I am the co host, I am the host of this class, right? So, your uh, faces are not there in the YouTube recording, your voice will be there. So, don't worry about your privacy. Yeah. It's basically it's the first priority. Yeah. So V is equals to 10. W we need to find because work done is nothing but your energy. And Q is your 120. So W would be equals to one uh, W is equals to 10. So it is coming out to be 1200 joule of energy is required to transfer the charge of 60 coulomb for a, for 60 seconds. Sorry, 120 coulomb for 60 seconds. Here, all of you? Yes. So this is the type of numerical that will come in your exam. As you can see, these are very basic numericals. But from now onwards, that they're going to like the from after Ohm's law, the numerical standard would be very different. Right? So it's a request to all of you. These are fundamental things. Please prepare your fundamentals along with the assessment, assignment, so that you can tackle the questions coming in the further topic. Okay. That's a request. Okay, everyone. Okay, so okay, so that's all for this class. The electric current topic is completed. In the next class, we are going to start the electric circuit. I'll just explain what is electric circuit and the components of that electric circuit. And after that, I'll start the electric Ohm's law. Ohm's law from now, like uh, from the Ohm's law topic, the that is the main topic. Like these are the fundamentals. Now we are going to implement these fundamentals into the main topic. Am I clear to all of you? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that's all for this class, everyone. Thanks so much for joining the class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And Allah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Welcome.